focus on this first. Okay, so this is from section 2.8. I'm going to talk to you about functions and how, say we have uh, an equation y equals, or better yet, I should call that f of x equals to be more specific. We use that notation more now that we've learned about functions. So that's function f in terms of x defined as 3x plus 2. So let's say we were asked to find f of 2. That means plug this in for the x. Instead of f of x, it's f of 2. So plug that in where the x was, and it's 3 times 2 plus 2, and you just simplify that, that's 6 plus 2, or 8. That would really be the y value. This is the input x value, and you plug it in for x. When you work it, it's what you would get for y. Um, okay, let's do it again. Let's do f of 3. f of 3 means plug in 3 for x. So 3 times 3 plus 2 would be 9 plus 2, 11. And we could keep doing that. We could plug in f of 4, f of 5, and just plugging in numbers. Whatever it says here is what you plug in for x, and then you work it out. Well, sometimes they throw this at you, and it's, it's um, more abstract. They'll say, find f of z, which means replace x with z. And uh, why would you do that? But that's what it means. Put this in for the x. So it'll be 3z plus 2. And that's all we can do to that one. Uh, and I'm leading up to something to show you how to use the difference quotient where, where it asks you to do f of x plus h. So whatever is in this parenthesis, again, the concept is f of, this is the x value, you plug that in for x. Where, and if there's more than one x, plug it in for each x. Anyways, we plug it in for that x. Whatever is here, we drop it into the x. So we write x plus h plus 2. And then simplify if you can. Here what we could do is distribute, and that, that is all you can do to that. It does not simplify any further. It's nothing to solve there. There's not an equation. It's just simplifying what's on this side. All right, so one more thing. Let me add another. Just go back to the easy things. If I were finding f of 1, that means plug in 1 for x. 3 times 1 plus 2. Work it out. If I say find f of 7, 3 times 7 plus 2, 21 and 2, 23. But if they throw a letter in there, it's still we do the same thing. f of uh, c. That means plug in c where there was an x. Now it's 3 c plus 2. You can't simplify that. But what we're working up to is this formula that has its plug in an x plus h. It means the same thing. You plug that in where there was an x. So we did this, but just to show you again, we plug that in for the x. Replace it. Uh, whatever it says in this parenthesis. All right, so I was saying that to prep you for over here when we're using this thing called the difference quotient. It's a formula, uh, a big old formula uh, in this section where it's really nothing new per se, but it just puts it together in kind of a unique way, and it's called the difference quotient formula. And they use this in calculus a lot, so we like to look at it in this class to prep you for that, so you'll be using it a lot if you would take the calculus class. But it is of the same thing we're talking about, function stuff. So function composition or, or uh, working through with functions. So there's three pieces to the formula. This first piece says do that f of x plus h I was talking about. Then it says subtract the original function, simplify all that, and then divide it by h. That is the formula. You don't have to remember that. It will be given to you. Um, but let's go through this um, example I had, f of x equals 3x plus 2, and apply this formula to it. In your homework, it's going to ask you to do the three sections, kind of show your work on it, but your ultimate answer is the full formula. So the first part of it says do f of x plus h, which we've been doing here. Let's do it again. f of x plus h means plug that in where there was an x. And then work it out. Simplify it if you can. Anything that you know to do to make that a little more simplified, that's all we can do. So that's A part. B part, we're working our way through it, has this in it again, and then also subtract the function. So we take our answer we just got above, our f of x plus h answer, subtract the function with x in for x. So we really just don't change it. But subtract means you'll be subtracting the whole function. Remember the function 3x plus 2 that we're working with here. 
So you will need to distribute the subtract sign. All right, so let's bring that down. Distributing your subtraction. Then you can combine some like terms. That cancels. And that's a good thing in this formula, it always reduces a little bit on that B part, so you should expect something like that to happen. So that's the answer to B part, all right, 3H. C part takes all the stuff we just did there, the F of X plus H minus F of X, which we just found out to be 3H, and says divide that by H. Well, in this one, it divides out nicely, the H's just cancel, and for the ultimate final answer, the difference quotient is three. Just to tell you, um, kind of relate this to what it's, it's about, the difference quotient tells us the slope of um, whatever the function is, the slope at any particular point. Well, because our original function was a line, the slope is three, and we know that about lines. The slope shows up in front of the x, so that also falls in line with what we know about lines. Now, the next example we're going to do is not going to be linear. So um, let's start this process over again with a new function. Let's do a f of x equals uh, a quadratic. And you'll probably have one of each of these on your study guide. So you need to be able to do the easier example, and then this one's the harder version of it, where we have a quadratic equation. So with a quadratic, the slope isn't consistent. The slope changes as uh, you go um, along the curve. So it's gonna have more than just one number output. So, but same process. Step A, f of x plus h. Now like we were saying, that means plug that in for x. We have two x's in this function. So plug in x plus h, each place you see an x. Now that presents a little more complicated algebra for us because I'm gonna to need to square this x plus h squared, that either needs to be foiled out, x plus h times x plus h, or use your squaring pattern. Um, but I want to show it with the FOIL method. Something squared means times in it by itself. So when you FOIL that, uh, let's see, let's simplify the middle terms combined. So you've got 2xh and h squared. So that's that, simplified. Then distributing your 6 and then bringing down your three. So a lot of algebra, a lot of terms there. Uh, see if there's anything you can combine, and when you look through this, actually, uh, it looks like a lot happening, but nothing is the same. So you can't, can't combine anything in that string of terms. So that's answer A. That would be the first part of the formula, getting X plus H plugged in to each of the X's and simplifying. B part, let me leave that from the last one. B part says take this answer, f of x plus h, so take all of answer a, and subtract the original function from it. Remember when we subtract the original function, the subtract needs to distribute, so we're gonna have a parenthesis around all that, or you might just remember to change all the signs as you go. This is a lot of writing down. Um, but I'm gonna distribute that subtract to all of the original function, so it becomes negative x squared minus 6x minus 3. Wow, right? Now on this step, you're expecting some things to cancel out. Like I said earlier, you should get um, some things to simplify. The 6x's are opposite. The 3's are opposite. Uh, let's see, the x squared minus x squared is opposite. So what you've got left, bring that down. That's our answer to B part, the second phase of the formula. So then the last part of the formula is take what you got there, all of that stuff, and divide by H. So if things are going correctly, every term that's in your answer uh, there in B part should have an H in it. So you should be able to divide by H. Each of these is divided by H. So it cancels out one of the H's in each term, making that just 2X. One of the H's cancel here, so it makes that H to the first, and then those H's cancel for six. And that would be the equation that would help you find the slope at any point along this parabola curve. But that is our final answer when applying the difference.